Hello! Today I will show you how to make a cute dollhouse with cover, four pages and beautiful doll. The project is perfect for beginners. In the design, apart from the doll, there are no detachable elements, so it's perfect for the youngest children. Thanks to the use of a special connection of the pages, each page can be easily removed and held in the small hands. Thanks to the ready-made patterns, you will see that it's very easy. Let's start it! We will need felt, threads, scissors, vanishy marker, hole punch and shoelace. Prepare patterns of the titles House Part 1, 2 and 3 and cut them out. Place them on right threads, outline with vanishing marker and cut them out. Place this element here and sew it with red thread. Take yellow element, place it in the center of house and sew it with yellow thread. Place roof here and sew it with orange thread. In the center of the roof, place this element and sew it with red thread. Place the orange door in the middle and display so that the bottom edge touches of the yellow element. Sew it with orange thread. Place this element in the middle of the door and sew it with red thread. Put heart here and sew it with yellow thread. Above the door put this element and sew it with pink thread. In the center of previous element place this pattern and sew it with blue thread. On both sides of white element put pink curtains and sew it with pink thread. Cut out the inner shapes in this paper patterns. Place them on red elements, 
outline the inner shape with vanishing marker and cut it out. Lay the red pieces on the curtain's windows and sew only their inner edge using red thread. Take this paper pattern and cut out two shapes in the selected elements. Place it on yellow element and outline the inner shapes using vanishing marker. Put the windows in the places of the drawn shapes and sew the outer edge using red thread. Place out on the pink thread and sew the outer edge using pink thread. The bottom thread is also pink. And now finally cut off the excess thread along the edge. Prepare patterns of the title doll and cut them out. Place them on right threads, outline with vanishing marker and cut them out. Make white circles using a hole punch. Choose the largest size. Place body on this element and sew it with white thread. The bottom thread will be white every time when making this doll. Place head here and sew it with white thread. Place dress here and sew it with pink thread. Place hair red on the top of the head and sew it with pink thread.
place bow in the middle of the hairband and sew it with pink thread. And the last part of the headband, place it here and sew it with pink thread. Make holes in the places of dots using hole punch. Place it on head and mark dot in the places of holes using vanishing marker. And now in the places of dots, put eyes and sew them using black thread. Place white circles in these places and sew them with white thread. Below, put the nose and sew it with white thread. Place the nipple in this place and sew it with yellow thread. Put the last element in the center of the nipple and sew it with yellow thread. And finally cut off the excess thread along the edge. Prepare patterns with the title table part 1 and 2 and cut them out. Place them on right felt, outline with vanishing marker and cut them out. Place this element in the center of the base page and sew it with orange thread. Take this paper pattern and cut a hole in the marked place. Place it here and outline the inner shape with vanishing marker. Put the pink element in the marked place and sew it with pink thread. Above place hard and sew it with white thread. Place bowl in the center of this element and sew it with yellow thread.
Place the food in the center of the bowl and sew it with white thread. At the top, sew this element using yellow thread. Place a spoon next to it and sew it with yellow thread. Put the red element in the middle of the blue element and sew it with red thread. The bottom thread is blue. Place this element on blue felt and sew it with blue thread. The bottom thread is also blue. Cut off excess felt along the edge Place this element here and sew only in these places using blue thread Start sewing forward then backward and sew on three times Do the same with the ending Place base page on green thread and sew the outer edge with green thread. The lower thread is also green. And finally, cut off excess thread along the edge. Prepare patterns of the titles Baby Carriage Part 1 and 2 and cut them out. Place them on right felts, outline with vanishy marker and cut them out. Place this element here and sew it with pink thread. The bottom thread is also pink. Place the next element on the top in this place and sew it with pink thread. And 
the next element will be here, so it will be pink red. Take the red element and place it in this place so that the upper edge touches the previous element. Sew it with red thread. Place this element here and sew it with yellow thread. Place white circle in this place and sew it with white thread. Lay the circles on the both sides and sew it with pink thread. In the center of the wheels, place circles and sew it with orange thread. And now cut off excess thread along the edge of the baby carriage. Place it in the center of the base page and sew only in marked place from here to this point using red and pink thread. In this place start sewing forward and backward and sew on three times. Place base page on blue thread and sew the outer edge with blue thread. The bottom thread is also blue. And finally cut off excess fur along the edge. Prepare patterns of the titles buff part 1 and 2 and cut them out. Place them on right felts, outline with vanishing marker and cut them out. Take this paper pattern and cut out the marked shape. Place it on base page and outline inner shape. 
Place this pattern on base page where it touches the drawn shape and sew it with white thread. Place this element in display so that it touches the top edge of the bathtub. Sew it with orange thread. The bottom thread is blue. Put one of the bubbles here and sew it with white thread. Lay the bathtub on the base page according to the drawn shape and sew only in marked place using blue thread. In these places, start sewing forward then backward and sew on three times. Here put legs and sew them with pink thread. Now take other bubbles, place them here and sew them with white thread. Place base page on purple thread and sew the outer edge with purple thread. The lower thread is also purple. And now cut off excess thread along the edge. Prepare patterns to the titles back part 1 and 2 and cut them out. Place them on right threads. Outline with vanishing marker and cut them out. Take this paper pattern and cut out mark shape. Place it on base page and outline in a shape with vanishing marker. Lay this element on base page at the marked place and sew it with white thread. Then place the blue element in place so that it coincide with the selected shape. Sew it with blue thread.
place yellow element on the top of the pink one so that their top edges meet. Sew it with yellow thread. The bottom thread is pink. Place it here and sew only on marked place. In these places, start sewing forward, then backward, and sew on three times. Lay the yellow and pink pillows on the sides of the bed and sew them with pink and yellow thread. And put the largest pillow in the middle and sew it with red thread. Place base page on orange thread and sew the outer edge with orange thread. The lower thread is also orange. And finally, cut off excess thread along the edge. Prepare pattern with the title putting together and cut it out. Make hole in the place of dot. Place it on cover and every pages and make dots in the place of holes. Now use a hole punch and make holes in the places of dots. Pull the pages together Thread the ends of the laces through the holes like this and make a ball. And baby dollhouse is ready. If you would like to make another mini book with learning shapes and a cute bear on the cover, click on this video. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye!